I mean, I want to see this movie on a movie theater screen. When I saw Prey, I said the same thing. And now with this movie, I'm saying the same thing. I want to see these movies on a movie theater screen. Hellraiser stars Odessa Azone and Jamie Clayton and is about a young woman struggling with addiction comes in possession of an ancient puzzle box unaware that its purpose is to summon the Cenobites. From the director of The Night House, a movie I truly loved last year and the more I see it the more I enjoy it and when I heard he was doing the new Hellraiser I was like okay it's in good hands because the Hellraiser franchise it's odd, it's different, it's Clive Barker's dream baby and it's just perfect for him. But for me, it's very odd and I appreciate it being different and I did review the first Hellraiser last year and with this movie, I wasn't like jumping up for joy but that first trailer, I was like, okay, this looks pretty good. My biggest praise of this movie is the behind the scenes team. I think everyone who worked in this movie should really get a round of applause. Seriously, the cinematography in this movie, it looks amazing. Like there is a reason why I want to see this on a movie theater screen. It looks so good. Seriously, the shadowing, the coloring, the blocking, the cinematography in this movie is truly perfect. It's really good for a Hellraiser movie and all of the prosthetics and the production design. We don't see a lot of CGI. It's in this movie, but when there's not CGI and the sets are literally moving in front of your eyes and we're seeing a whole new set and tone just come into a scene, Doing it practically? That is awesome. Seriously, the whole team behind this movie are Hellraiser fans. And the director really gave what the fans, what they wanted to see, the Cenobites, obviously. You get that for the most part. But, like I said, just looking at this movie, it was beautiful. Now, Jamie Clayton as our new pinhead. She really is not the new pinhead. She's a new character called The Priest, and she does look like Pinhead, but she is her own character for the most part, and I think she kills it. Seriously, she is really creepy looking, and her voice, her movements, she kills it. Seriously, I would love to see this character in future movies if they continue to do that. She is awesome. And all of our Cenobites, like I said, the makeup effects, the practical effects, I mean, I love them. Seriously, it is great to see. In that original movie, seeing those Cenobites for only a few minutes and then becoming a franchise is a huge thing. So this movie was like, all right, you guys want to see the Cenobites, we're going to give you the Cenobites. When they are on screen, the movie is like 10 times better. Like, it is so much just better the look of it the sound the mixing the music it's just, when they're on screen it's great and she does a great job as the priest all the cinebites do a good job and when we actually get to see the kills it's very gruesome unfortunately though i did not love this movie because like i said i am not the biggest hellraiser fan i'll say that clearly but that first trailer was like okay this looks very updated and it's bringing clive barker's style of hellraiser into the 21st century I'm all for it. And like I said, when the Cenobites are on screen and this entire third act, mwah, perfect. This is what I want to see in a Hellraiser movie. But the first 40 minutes, 50 minutes, seeing this generic plot line of, yes, they're filling, figuring out this little puzzle, getting stabbed, the blood goes in, and then obviously the Cenobites showed up. That stuff's cool, but the characters are not good characters. And our main lead, she kind of isn't the best of a person. She has her struggles of drugs and pills, but this character is hard to follow. And for what the story is giving us, you've seen it before. I mean, it kind of reminds me of The Ring a little bit. It reminds me of Smile, where the first 50 minutes, she's just figuring out what is going on. What is this puzzle thing? Where did my brother go? There's all these questions, but the thing is, you've seen this a hundred times and the movie doesn't do anything different it doesn't feel fresh and new when the Cenobites show up and we actually get our horror scenes it does feel Clive Barker-ish it feels like Hellraiser but besides that I was sitting there I was like I do not like these characters I think this dialogue is very boring it's very cartoony dialogue in a few parts and it just feels very just predictable and seriously that, that was so disappointing especially for a Clive Barker Hellraiser reboot you can do so much for this movie and when it's actually doing that in the third act I was in love with it 
but most of this movie felt very just on the note, you know what's gonna happen. But again, I think this movie for what it is, a new Hellraiser, it's pretty damn good. I'm gonna give Hellraiser a B minus. And I do hope a lot of people watch this movie on Hulu because I would like to see them continue the Hellraiser franchise because they can get weird, they can get very creative, and I wanna see that stuff. I don't wanna see same old stuff, especially with a Hellraiser movie. No, I wanna see more Cinebites. I wanna see more, and this movie gives you a lot, but they can do more. And if you see this movie, I think you might know what I'm talking about. And anyway, if you guys enjoyed this movie review, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.